What's up, everybody? So like the coward Cody Co is, here is his partner of Tiny Meat Gang addressing the situation and making a public statement on moving forward. Long story short, he doesn't really address any specifics about the situation either under personal or legal obligations. But Cody making Noel do his dirty work is a bitch move and speaks volumes about Cody's character or lack thereof. Uh, before we start this episode, I want to start by saying thank you uh, for just how supportive and understanding you all have been and patient uh, above all. Um, and understandably, a lot of you want to know what I have to say about everything that's happened. And the reality there is that I'm not in a position to speak about the situation. Um, and at this point, really, the thing I have to focus on is how to move forward. Obviously, there's some legal things he can't discuss. I'm glad he didn't apologize on Cody's behalf. That would have been awkward. However, the fact Noel is the one who is making a statement about moving forward is crazy. It's beyond clear now that Cody is not going to apologize publicly and is just waiting for these allegations to die down. He made a career off of reacting to content, calling other people out constantly, but can't own up to his past and face the consequences of his own actions. Just pathetic all around. It's funny too, because Cody is a successful, 30-something-year-old white man. It wouldn't have taken more than literally one lawyer-approved statement to address this situation, apologize, and put this whole thing behind him, and he couldn't do it. All he would have had to say is something as simple as, I made some mistakes in my 20s, I apologize to Tana wholeheartedly, and I'll go to therapy, but I will take accountability for my actions and donate to such and such. That's it. He made the whole thing 10 times worse by not saying anything at all. Now, some people are saying that since he's a Canadian, making any public statements would affect his American citizenship. On the Office of Public Affairs of the U.S., Department of Justice website, it states that if you commit certain crimes you can lose your citizenship and be deported. Those certain crimes include national security, or terrorism, war crimes and human rights violations, sex crimes, and fraud. Here I highlighted the sex offenders clause. These cite three cases that have led to a loss of citizenship or denaturalization. Now, I want to point out that the statute of limitations for Tana's case has run out, so the legal claim is no longer valid. What that means is, if Tana tries to sue him, she lose. However, Tana has said that she wasn't going to press charges or pursue this any further. So legally, he can talk about this, however it doesn't look good on him any way you slice or dice it. It doesn't make him any less of a scumbag though, nor would it jeopardize his citizenship all this to say that Cody is a coward. Um, you know, which leads me to say, uh, I want to thank everyone as well that just sent me messages of support, you know, just directly to me. Uh, that has been just very uh, motivating and reassuring, um, not just for me, but for everyone at the studio. It's absolutely crazy that Noel is the one who has to come out and make this announcement. Cody should be the one to say something about a situation that he is directly responsible for. Uh, that's kind of given us the energy we needed to, you know, take the first step back. I took some time and figured out a new direction for the show and where I want the company to go overall. That being said, Cody is still a part of this company, so take that for what you will. I don't know if people are just going to move on from this and accept Cody back into the limelight in the future. I know from reading comments that some people are already over this situation because the Mr. Beast stuff is so much worse, or if he's permanently out of the pod with Noel, or anything behind what's happening at all behind the scenes. If they're gonna try to buy Cody out of his shares with the company, I don't know what any of that will look like going forward, but I think Noel made the right call with this announcement. He effectively is separating himself from Cody and is moving forward, and I think at this point, that's all anyone really wants anyways. As for Cody, does this mark the end of his career as a YouTuber? Probably not. I mean, Shane Dawson still makes videos and he's literally done blackface. We'll be filming out of studio for the next few weeks and that's just because I want to build a new set. And uh, yeah, 
New mask. Same task. Uh, that's kind of the plan. Um, again, I just want to thank you all. You have supported me for years, uh, almost a decade, and you've supported the studio for years. And we all fully intend to give you what you've given us uh, for so long. Uh, that part is not going to stop. So, yeah, it means the world to me just how much you all have been there for me. And uh, I fully intend to, yeah, just keep at it and, and keep making things that I, I hope you love and enjoy. I want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Better Help. Oh, okay. Okay.